Hey guys, it's Arika Misha in the kitchen and today we are baking. Yes, today we are baking Les Strawberry Brownies. Yes, you heard correctly. I'll repeat myself. Strawberry Brownies. Les Strawberry Les Brownies. <laughs> Y'all know I'm half French. <laughs> no, no, not really, but anyway. All right, so today I've already opened, I'm gonna be using two boxes of this Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Strawberry Supreme Cake Mix. I'm gonna be using two boxes of these. Um, I have the Gerardelle White Chocolate Chips, and this is a 11 ounce uh, bag of white chocolate chips, Gerardelle. Y'all know Gerardelle, Google it so you know how to pronounce stuff. All right, so I've got the strawberry cake mix, two boxes of those, the Ghirardelli. I just want to say this in case I forget, because y'all know I get to uh, making it, and I'll, I'll be talking too much, and I'll be getting stuff. All right, so, yes, we've got four eggs, four large eggs. Uh, going to be one tablespoon of vanilla extract, you know, vanilla. Two-third cups of oil, vegetable oil, cooking oil, whatever you got. All right, so let's get into it because I don't want to make this one long video. And there's also going to be a glaze that I make. I'll show y'all that. Look, quick, easy glaze. All right, so the first thing I want to do, you see I got my bowl set up here with my uh, my sifter. I want to sift this cake mix because y'all know these cake mix be having big chunks. I can't stand them big chunks. So I'm going to go ahead and sift this out. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. try to do this without making a big mess. I was going to do this before I started recording, but... Anyway, we'll just do it now. Gonna sift, we're gonna sift both boxes. Sift both boxes of our cake mix. All right, this gonna take a minute, y'all. Let me go ahead and do this, I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back after all this sifting. All right, so we uh, sifted both boxes. All right, so we're adding two third cups of oil. Two third cups of oil. Four eggs. And one teaspoon of vanilla. All right, easy. Simple, simple ingredients. We got the two boxes of the strawberry cake mix, four eggs, one tablespoon of vanilla, Two third cups of oil. That's you know sounds like the regular brownie mix anyway. So that's all we got to do. Quick and easy. All right, put my vanilla back in the box, and we're just gonna mix this up. And y'all see, I moved, uh, changed it to a bigger bowl because that other bowl was not big enough to be mixing this stuff. I like having enough room to mix my stuff in. You know, gotta have enough room to do what you gotta do. And of course, like brownie mix. If you ever made brownies, um, this mix is gonna you know be thick. It's thick like brownie mix. So let's get this all mixed up. And then I'm going to get my um, white chips, white chocolate. Well, not, not chocolate, white chips uh, mixed in here as well. And this strawberry cake mix, this Duncan Hines strawberry cake mix smells amazing. It smells like straight up strawberries. This ain't doing a good job mixing my stuff. So you know what we're gonna do? We got time for this. Hold on, you all. Hold on. Okay. Okay, let me get me a fork. I don't even know why I'm trying to use this foolishness right here. Cause this ain't working out. Probably too thick for it. Okay, child. Let's move you out of the way because you're slowing me down. Ain't got all day. Okay. All right. So, a regular fork and just mix, you, mix it up. Ain't that serious. Mix it up. Remember what I said. This is going to be thick. So, this, this is my exercise for the week. Arm exercise. That's what I'm doing. This is it for the week. Fooling with this. But you know what? I love how it smells so strawberry. Oh. It smells so good, like fresh strawberries. Woo cha. Get this mixed in. We're going to add in our white chips. Make sure you get your sides all scraped. 
yes all right so you finish getting the mix make sure i get that bottom bottom eggs that's sitting down there i want to get all that mixed up okay so the fork has done all it's going to be able to do because this is getting thicker and thicker so we're moving our fork out of the way and now i need this like you know your little spatula little spatula all right because i'm scraping these sides up y'all already know i'm getting all my cake mix all my stuff i paid for make sure you get all your stuff you paid for just mix it up mix it real good Ugh. yeah i know since i'm saying this exercise i should switch to the other arm so the other arm can get some exercise that's my left arm i'm right handed all right mix this up Ooh. I'm telling you it reminds me of um brownie mix all thick make sure I get this mixed up real good Ugh. I'm gonna give y'all a close look at this mix Ooh. I'm tired I wish y'all could smell it it smells so good okay make sure it's mixed up Okay, that looks good. I'm getting ready to fold in these chips, but make sure I got this mixed real good. Ugh. Scrape that bottom. Woo, child. Woo. Lord have mercy. Woo. Okay. All right, let me give y'all a close look at that mix, the strawberry mix. Ooh, y'all, don't that look good? Ooh, I wish y'all could smell it. I really do wish y'all could smell it, Y'all know what strawberries smell like. That's what it smells like. So. Alright. Let me get ready to add these white chips in. And I've already got my baking. My little Pioneer Woman dish I'm going to use. I already sprayed it with oil. Ooh. That's loud. Sprayed it with oil so nothing sticks. When you get ready to take your brownies out the pan so you can cut them up. Alright. I'll show y'all that. Okay. Now. Let's get these white chocolate chips folded in. Hold on, let me get my scissors. I got my oven preheated, in case I forget to say, preheated to 350 degrees. You will bake this for 20, you know what? 20, 25 minutes, but I'm gonna do 20 and see how that turned out. See how I was doing on 20. I'm dumping a whole bag of white chips in there. I like white chips. I like white chocolate. We just folding these in, not mixing. We're gonna just fold them in. Fold them in. Yeah, we just gonna fold these chips in. Fold it into our mix. Ooh, we get them chips folded in. And that bag gives you a lot of uh, white chips. I like white chocolate. I like regular chocolate. Um, I don't like dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. I, I just I just don't like that bitter taste that uh, dark chocolate has. Never really been a big fan of it. But, you know, if you like your dark chocolate, you go right ahead. All right. Whew. Okay. All right, we're going to fold them in a little bit more because they're not folded in that good. Oh, man, I tell you, this strawberry mix is amazing. Okay. Almost finished. Oh, child. Come on here. Okay. All right. Okay. Ooh. I'm tired. All right, let me get my dish over here show y'all y'all i got my dish here go ahead and pour this big old clump in there make sure i got all my stuff scraped up y'all hold on y'all know i ain't leaving nothing behind oh Ooh. y'all be warned this mix is thick i'm tired i'm gonna need a nap after this Okay. Ooh, okay. 
So, we got our mix in. Just gonna spread it out evenly. Spread it out evenly. Ooh, it looks so good, y'all. I know it looked good. I'm gonna give y'all a close up look. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give y'all that word of the day that God has been dealing with, dealing with me about in my spirit. Even though you may get tired and want to give up and things look so impossible, never give up. Never give up. I'm telling you. That's what God been really dealing with me about. I mean, I'm telling y'all. Never give up. Trust God. Have faith in God. Never give up. And God knows things be looking impossible. You're like, hi, I don't even know how it's going to get done. Trust God. He is the God of the impossible. If y'all done read y'all Bibles, y'all know what God can do. So, I ain't doubting God. I'm just spreading this. Uh, that's the word of the day, y'all. Never give up. All right. Now, I'm just spreading my brownie mix uh, evenly. You know, we want it evenly. So, kind of like. Ooh, try this mix. Just, you know, doing it like this. Spreading it out evenly. Ooh, try them white chocolate. Them white, white, I keep saying chocolate. Them white chips. Ooh. They look so good. Okay, all right. I think we got it down cute. Okay. Cute. Okay, y'all, look at that. Ooh, we got our white chips in there. Ooh, that looks really good, you all. Looks really good. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put it in the oven. 350 degrees, I already got my oven preheated over there. 350 degrees, 20 minutes, and then I'ma see if it need another five minutes. I'll let y'all know. I'll be right back, y'all, because I wanna show y'all the glaze mix, too. Okay, guys, I just wanted to come back and make sure I did show you guys this little quick little glaze recipe, quick and easy. Uh, just using a measuring cup, whatever you wanna use, doesn't matter. All right, I've got one cup of powdered sugar, one cup of powdered sugar. Duh, there's my vanilla. I have one, I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm doing, I'm gonna do one teaspoon of milk. All right, so let me get my fork so I can mix this. Okay, all right, I'm gonna mix this and I'm gonna add more milk. I just wanna see, you know, the one teaspoon of milk. I'm just seeing how that does so far. So let me mix that one teaspoon in first. Yeah, looks like I might need another teaspoon of milk. Yep, let me put one more teaspoon of milk. Okay. Another teaspoon of milk so that's one cup of powdered sugar one teaspoon of vanilla and two teaspoons of milk we just gonna mix 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 and this if this isn't uh, thin enough I'll add another uh, teaspoon of milk but this looks like this might be good let me finish mixing it smells so good it smells so sweet A little thick it's a little thick too thick for me so I'm gonna add another teaspoon of milk until it gets to the consistency that I want all right another teaspoon of milk yeah cuz it's too thick for me all right that's looking good yeah I'm stirring it better get my sides all scraped up Oh yeah, that's it. That's perfect. So that was one cup of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, and three teaspoons of milk. You can use skim milk if you want, you know, substitute it however you want to do it. Oh yeah, that is perfect now. Look at that. Let me show y'all. Wait, let me make sure my bottom's all scraped up. Look at that. That is the perfect consistency. Yes, perfect. And of course, you know, it's, when it sits, it's going to get a little thicker. And that's my timer on the brownies, which I did it for 20 minutes and they weren't done yet, guys. So I added another five minutes. So I'm getting ready to take those brownies out now. 
I'm gonna show y'all what that looks like. Let me sit my glaze over to the side. Let me get the brownies pulled out, cut my timer off. Cause if I don't, that annoying timer will keep going. Ugh. Don't y'all hate those stove timers? Ugh, they so annoying. All right, let me move all this out of the way. My glaze, I'll leave. I'll leave my glaze here. Let me move this milk. Okay, I'm gonna move all this stuff, but let me get the brownies out. Okay, well, to one you all, I'll be back with the brownies. Smells so good. The whole house smells like strawberries. Like a strawberry patch. Oh yeah, that's perfect. 25 minutes, that's perfect. Oh yeah, perfect, 25 minutes. Look at that, y'all, look at that. Woo, y'all know this hot. Y'all think I'm playing with y'all. Y'all know this hot. Okay. Who shot this hot, 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 hot? Okay. All right. So, we're going to let this cool for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to let this cool off. So, you all can see it. Oh, yes. Smells so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. All right. So, I'm going to let this cool off. I'm going to come back, slice them up. Yeah, I'm going to let y'all see me, you know, I'm going to plate them up. And then I'm going to come back and let y'all see me put that glaze over. And that's going to be the grand finale. Oh, you know, you yeah, know. Well, yeah, I'm going to let this be the grand finale. Because you know what? Y'all pull y'all glaze over however y'all want. You know, somebody, somebody may not want to do glaze. So, however you want to do it. But I'm just going to drizzle my glaze mix over the, um... The brownies. That's all I'm going to do. Cut them up and drizzle. Y'all will see the thumbnail. The thumbnail will be the brownies with the glaze. So, all right, y'all. That's the end of our strawberry brownies because this video is too long. And I want to make sure y'all watch it. So, all right, guys. Don't forget that word of the day. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.